Welcome back everyone to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in today's episode we will be creating some mobile inputs. So I'm gonna be using the Xbox controller and uh, the mouse because well I can't really record on my phone. Uh, so here is the setup. We're gonna have a joystick on the left side. You can't see it move because for some reason it doesn't want to replicate my Xbox controller's movement but on the phone it is going to be moving and everything is going to be just fine. So we have the joystick for the steering and then we have the brake and we have the gas and also we have the gears up and down and obviously you can set up the handbrake the same way. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Before we start this I just want to mention real quick that this does not only apply for this project, this applies for Unreal Engine overall and basically you can set up these controls for any project that you have basically. So the first thing is to enable the actual preview on the screen so that we have the actual joystick on the screen available to us and that is actually super super simple because Unreal Engine by default already has something built in for us. So if you would go to your settings, project settings, scroll down till you find the input section, scroll down a little more till you find the mobile section and if you would enable always show touch interface this is going to display the inputs. So you can see we have two joysticks on our screen. So real quick let me just uh, remove the debugger or whatever thingy this is from the vehicle system so that the joysticks are a little bit better visible. Now the issue that I'm going to face is that I this is PC, I don't have a touch screen so I can't really move this joystick but I can simulate this using my Xbox controller even though uh, the joystick itself is not going to move um, and yeah well on the phone it's going to work just fine, it's going to function but it's, you're just simply not going to see the joystick move on my screen. So. Um, the next thing would be that, for example, in this template, uh, if you would enable this on the third person template, you will be able to walk around and look around using both of those joysticks. The left one, I believe, was for the movement and the right one was for looking uh, left and right, basically moving the camera like this. Uh, but for the vehicle system, we only need one joystick for steering and uh, yeah, we only need one. So here is the actual, uh, the interface itself. So if we would click on this magnifying glass, it's going to bring us to the engine content. And we have actually two choices here. We have the uh, dual stick and we have a single stick input. So now that we have clicked on this we are in the engine content and now back in the project settings we are able to swap between these two. If you need both sticks use this one. I'm gonna only use one so I'm gonna select the left virtual joystick only. Now I'm gonna go to, to that joystick over there. Uh, so uh, cancel. Not sure what I clicked. So you want to open up the one that you are going to be using and here we have the control section. So here we have one, for the other one there's two array elements, so we only have one array element. We can change the uh, the thumb and the background of the joystick images right here. And here under the main input key and the alt input key we can set up the axis. So by default we should leave these be like they are and they are going to work just fine. Now we also need to assign these same keys to our input settings. So uh, for this vehicle we only need the one that is going left and right. We don't need the movement forward uh, on that, although we could set it up as well. So for now, I'm just going to set both of these up. So we need to remember that the X is left and right. So let me just double check this with my controller. Yep, the X is left and right and the Y is up and down. So we need the gamepad left thumbstick X axis for our steering. So go to the project settings again input section, scroll up till we find the vehicle steering and let's create a, another input to this and look for your gamepad left thumbstick x axis. Now we are going to be able to steer so if we press play look at the steering wheels you can see we are able to steer so right now if you would move your joystick you should be able to steer with it as well. Now uh, let's say we want to give gas as well so for the forward axis use the joystick left joystick y axis so now i will be able to drive around with my left joystick and you should be able to drive around just by using that uh, on-screen joystick right there 
Now, but that's not exactly what we want because for the mobile games, you probably want to have one stick where you can steer and then you want to have buttons on the other side. At least that's what I've, I've seen uh, multiple games do. They have like buttons for gas and brake and that stuff. So back in the uh, project settings, what I'm actually going to do is for the move forward, I'm going to disable this and then I'm going to, so now I only have the steering and I'm going to go back to the content browser, content folder, and I'm going to create the widget, which is going to hold these keys for me. So user interface, widget blueprint, and I'm going to call this UI HUD. Let's go ahead, let's open this up and let's add a couple of buttons to this. So I'm going to have one button over here. Uh, let's make this like 100 by 100 perhaps. So it's a little bit easier to push on it. Uh, maybe uh, for the mobile it even should be even bigger. Obviously that's uh, some testing work for you guys. So I'm going to rename this to be the gas button. I'm also going to create another button and I'm going to call this break button. which I'm going to move next to that. And then let's create two more buttons and we are going to have the shift up button and we are going to have the shift down button. So let me move these somewhere around here. So we're going to have this one and this one. Uh, let's move these the other way around. There we go. So we have gas, brake, shift up, shift down. So let's go now to our graph and let's set these up. So the first thing that I actually want to do is first cast to our vehicle real quick. So we're going to cast to our vehicle master or in your case, basically cast to your character. So I have the vehicle master and for that we want to get the owning player pawn. There we go. And from here now we want to set the uh, movement inputs. So in my situation for the vehicles, it's really, really simple. If we would go to our vehicle master where we actually have these inputs set up. So we have the set throttle input, set brake input, uh, and we have the move shifter position. So we need these nodes right here that we are actually going to uh, control through the widget. So let's promote our character to a variable so that it is easier to access this and then Let's go ahead, let's start working with the gas. So we need a on pressed event, not clicked, but the pressed one. Because as long as we are holding this pressed, we want to give gas. And then we also want the on released event. So whenever we release the key, there is no more throttle input for us. So let's bring in the player. And as the player, we then want to set uh, throttle, throttle input. So set throttle input and we want to give full gas. So we're going to uh, write one over here. And then for the bottom, for the released, we're going to do the same thing. But instead of one, we're going to have zero. Now to make this work, uh, we first uh, need to disconnect this uh, vehicle forward input axis. Otherwise, if we leave this be, this is a tick event. Uh, it runs constantly, so it will override the uh, the inputs from here. So let's go ahead, hit play. Uh, actually, before we do that, we need to display the widget. So uh, I'm going to do that in the vehicle master so that it would get displayed for all of my vehicles. So at the end over here, I'm going to create a widget. And this widget right here is going to be my UI HUD. Then I'm going to add that to my screen, add to viewport. And I also want to display the mouse so I can actually click those things. Uh, for mobile, obviously, you don't need to do that. But uh, for me in the, on the PC, I need this. So own, owning player, get owning player. And from this, we can then show the mouse. Okay, so we are showing the mouse. Click that to be true. And now if we hit play and we click this button, as long as we hold it down, we are giving gas to this guy. Now we also need to set up the brakes and that part is pretty much the same. So again, let's disconnect this input right here. Uh, so the searing one can stay because that one we need. We are replacing the gas and brake and also 
uh, let's replace the shifters and obviously you can do the same thing for the handbrake as well so back in the ui hud we have the brake we need the on pressed and on released events and from those again from the player we want to set brake input on pressed we want to set this to be one and then on released we want to set this back to zero now for the shifter position i'm going to use the on click events because we have two different keys so we just simply want to press it and then it changes it we don't need to hold it in order for it to be changed so again from the player we are going to move shifter position and on the shift up we're going to move up and on the shift down, we are going to shift this down. So now if we would hit play, give gas, we go forward, we, uh, we change the gears, we brake, give gas, let me find the correct gear. Should have left the uh, widget on screen so I know what's going on. But right now you can see we can give gas and we can also brake. Uh, the brakes don't seem to work that great. There we go. So that's that. And uh, yeah, those are the basic mobile controls. This is a very basic way how you can set those up. Obviously, if you want to use two sticks, then just simply use two sticks and set it up over here. So now uh, I'm not going to keep these settings uh, going on with the vehicle system tutorial series. Uh, so real quick, let's just add some more settings while we are here. So let's say we are using an Xbox 360 controller, like uh, actually I have Xbox One, but it doesn't matter which one. Uh, let's say we want to use that one instead. Uh, so I'm going to create a vehicle forward, more inputs. So I'm going to have the right trigger for the gas. I'm going to have the left trigger for the brake. Uh, for turning and looking around on the mouse, I'm going to use this stick right here. There we go. We have the handbrake. So we're going to use this key, so face button right, and then we have the shift up, which is this one, and then we're going to have shift down, which is this one. And there we go, and that's pretty much all we got to do, and now we have also the uh, controller support. Uh, why am I not driving forward though? Oh, because obviously, uh, <laughs> if you disconnected these ones, then these are no longer going to work for the... Uh, controller so I'm just going to reconnect these back the way they were and now this is going to work with the controller so we can look around uh, might have to invert the axis though but as you can see we can drive around with the controller as well now there we go so those are the very very basic ways how to how to change the inputs is actually really quick and simple and thank, thanks to Unreal Engine because they have supplied these joysticks uh, already by default. Uh, you can't save uh, yeah, you can't save the, uh, the default engine content so make sure if you want to uh, do some modifications to this one copy this out and then save the one that you are making the changes to and use that one instead. So yeah, thank you for watching. Hope this was useful and helpful. If it was then make sure to hit that subscribe button. Join my discord if you have any questions and I see you in the next one.